Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. It's time for another installment of the Doctor Spell Prognosis. And today we're talking about the first level spell, Silent Image. I am giving this spell a C for a grade. It has some near combat use, but not really a lot of use in combat, of course, if you uh, if you disagree with me or you can you have other ways that this can be used, leave them in the comments below, and and we'll take a look. So this spell is usable by bards, sorcerers, and wizards, not warlocks, not artificers, not clerics or druids. So it's a little limited, but I mean those three classes comprise the um, most of the arcane casters. It is a first level spell that takes one action. It has a range of sixty feet and an area of fifteen feet. Now I've got the spell Minor Illusion up here to as a comparator. So this is a cantrip. It has a range of 30 feet and an area of 5 feet. So Silent Image has got a farther range, and it has more of an area. It's verbal, somatic, and material, uh, somatic and material for Minor Illusion. Um, Silent Image lasts for 10 minutes. This lasts for 1 minute, but Minor Image is not concentration. Silent Image is concentration. Um, you can keep casting this over and over and over again as long as you're there. But this lasts for 10 minutes, so you can plop it down and then walk away. Uh, they're all illusions. So you create an image of an object, a creature, or some other visible phenomenon that is no larger than 15 in foot in, than, than 15 foot cube. So this is automatically three times bigger than minor illusion. The image appears at a spot within range and lasts for the duration. The image is purely visible, and it isn't accompanied by sound, smell, or sensory effects. With minor illusion, you can create a sound or you can create an image okay that's the big difference uh you can use your action to cause the image to move to any spot within range this one you can't move you just create an image and it's there it uh it can't create sound light smell or other sensory effects and physical physical interaction reveals it to be an illusion but it's you cast this and it's there doesn't really move but you could move it with another action by casting another minor illusion. So you could make one disappear and go. So you can kind of do that, but it's only within 30 feet for minor illusion. It's within 60 feet for silent illusion. You have to cast it again. Um, as the image cha changes location, you can alter the, its appearance so that it moves. It that its movements appear natural for the image. For example. If you create an image of a creature and move, it can alter the image so that it looks like it's walking. So you can't do that with minor image. So just like minor image, if you physically interact with it, it looks like a um, an image. And then there's an investigation check just like minor uh, illusion for um, seeing if it is an actual illusion or not. Now, um, this doesn't make sound. So I guess you could cast this. And then you could use Minor Illusion to create sound as long as the illusion is within 30 feet. So combining these two spells actually is pretty good. And then you can move this thing around for 10 minutes. And you can use Minor Illusion to keep creating a sound of it. So it's no longer a silent image. It has sound. Um, and, you know, so on and so forth. Again, this has, like, near... Near combat uh, uses, so if you're trying to set an ambush up or you want to lead somebody someplace, you could cast this spell if you're in hiding, and um, you could lead them someplace that is going to you know, be beneficial to your party for an ambush, per se, um, you know, so on and so forth. So that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.